Welcome back my friends and we are not actually going into Rocky Mountain National Park but I want to show you this entrance for two reasons. First, I mean come on look at that just beautiful and the second thing is look at how easy it is to just drive into the park and the reason being is this we're actually coming in from the opposite far west side since we're visiting Granby. The main entrance is in Estes. This time of year, you just be waiting forever to get in. But uh, when you come in from this side, you just pull up, you get these beautiful trees, and you head right in. Now, while I'm standing here, let me tell you why we are here. This entrance right here is in the town of Grand Colorado, which is next to Granby. And they have not one, but two giant lakes here. So, we are going to go and check out Shadow Mountain Lake and Granby Lake, which are right next to each other, and see what other little um, pockets or packets, no, pockets of trees we can find like this. Let's go. All right, my friends, we're just driving around these two big lakes, and I saw this sign for Point Park, and I don't know what Point Park is, but I saw some nice trees, and I see a nice boardwalk, and I don't know what's going on. Milo's pulling, but let's go check it out together. I mean, right there is the water. So it's got to be pretty good. Yeah, I just turned around. Those look pretty good behind us. Um, I was so taken aback by that Rocky Mountain Park entrance. I'm not exactly sure if I explained exactly where we are. So we are in Grand, Colorado. <clears throat> Grand is right next to Granby. And look at this. Imagine living in one of those houses. And there's two really big lakes here. Grand and Shadow. Shadow is on the other side of us. We're at Grand right now. So basically, we're just driving around and we're looking for little spots to get off and just observe these two different lakes and this fall foliage in uh, different viewpoints. Here comes a boat right now. But this is really cool. I would, this reminds me of actually of Florida, because uh, when I was in Florida, there's a lot of homes that live on the waterway like this. I love this little trail. The lake to our right, beautiful Rocky Mountains right ahead of us. Of course, you know me, I wish we had some more clouds, but this is awesome. Oh my goodness, YouTube, look, look at this. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Look at this. You know, um, yesterday when I was over at Granby Lake, I just didn't do it justice explaining to you guys how big it is. When we were coming up to here, like half the drive, you're driving along Granby Lake. Then it stops for about a couple of miles. Then you start on Shadow Lake. And then that leads right into this uh, Grand Lake. It's just lake, lake, lake. Now, the difference between this and Granby Lake, and Granby is beautiful, is you can see this is literally nestled right into the right into the mountains. Look at that! Holy! Yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. I want to go up and over these stairs. I'm just not sure how Mr. Milo is going to do. Let's see if he can do them. They're, they're kind of weird. They're metal. You okay, bud? Woo! Look at the view from up here. So nice. Nice houses to the other side. I really could live right there. Just get on your boat, come underneath this bridge, and head out on over to there. Oh yeah, I could do that, YouTube. I am glad we found this little nice Point Break, what was it called? Point Break Beach? Point Break Park? I can't remember, but I'm glad we found it. It was a nice little stroll, we got some nice views. Saw a couple of nice colors. And uh, we're gonna go and drive further around and look for another spot to stop at. I wanted to show you guys how cool the town of Grand is. Um, here's like the the main thoroughfare, the main road 
uh, with boardwalks on two sides like this. Here's the center, public town, plenty of public restrooms, public sitting, picnic tables over there, playground for the kids. But then on both sides of this boardwalk, you have all these restaurants, t-shirts, you know, all the stuff that you'd be looking for in a touristy type town. We got some serious wind. wind. We have some serious wind going YouTube, but it makes for pretty waves on the lake. And what a beautiful lake it is. Beautiful reflection. I would head out onto those docks, but because it's so windy, I'm afraid Mr. Milo will go right into the water. They just do such a good job here. Look at all these benches available. Just sitting here. I mean, if you live here, you could just get your lunch, come on down, sit in the bench and hang out and view that over your lunch break. All right, my friends, we jumped over to the Shadow Mountain Lakeside. Um, I saw a sign that said something, something beach, and I was like, all right, let's jump in. We are officially in the Arapaho National Forest now, which means there was a $5 day charge fee, but you know what? I'm happy to do it. Um, I have no idea where we are, what this trail is, or if we're even walking towards the lake, but let's just continue and see what happens. Well, I see water, so we are certainly heading to the lake. Let us view. Nice place for a picnic table. I could certainly picnic here. Ooh, beautiful. I love this tall grass. I forget what it's called. Check out this beautiful little enclave area I found. I mean, you could hear someone using an air pump, which is incredibly annoying. But outside of that, um, this is just like a little overflow area from the lake. And it's just beautiful. Very tranquil. Again, outside of that stupid pump going. But look at this. How cool and nice is this? And you could see... We could follow this, Maybe it goes right back to the main lake and the mountains over there, but I just love this. I am so glad we came and found this little trail. You know, the one thing I'm um, not upset, but a little bummed about is there are some of the nicest leaves I've ever seen are on this side of uh, Colorado. However, they are all in the park. Uh, Rocky Mountain National Park, which we can't get to. And if you're saying, Scotty P, you're right there, why not just jump into the park? It's because they don't allow dogs. And it's a little too warm to just leave Milo in the van as I go out and explore, but how beautiful is this? Some nice reflections, nice tranquil water. We may not get the uh, full color explosion today, but we certainly got some Colorado beauty. And Mr. Milo. Mr. Milo, do you want to say hi? Nope. He's out having fun. So as we're getting ready to drive out of Grand Lake, I did want to show you I wasn't kidding about the leaves. Look at that. And look at this across the street. Check out those beautiful reds. We get so much yellow here in Colorado, but it's rare we get these beautiful oranges and reds like that. So... Like I said, there's so much great fall foliage going on over here. It's just most of it's in Rocky National Park, so I had to let you guys get a little taste of it. There you go. And one last shot of these beautiful, beautiful Colorado yellows. All right, YouTube, we're done with Grand Lake. I'll see you on tomorrow's video.